Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Today we're looking at verses 3 and 4 in Psalm 122. Psalm 122 is a part of the larger body of uh, psalms called the Ascent Psalms. It begins in 120, ends in 134. So there's 15 of these. These 15 psalms, some say, relate to the steps that went up into the temple, and they would sing these songs on the steps. I've always taught this as kind of like a travel log or a, a hymn book for the travel. They start in Meshach, and they're making their way up to Jerusalem. And so each little point along the way has a different psalm that goes with it. This Psalm 122 it gives us our destination. We know where we're starting from, way, way out in Meshach and Kedar. Now we find out in Psalm 122 that we're going to Jerusalem. So we're not just looking to any old mountain, but we're looking to one mountain in particular. So Jerusalem features here three times, the word does, but the whole thing really is about that city where the temple of God is. So yesterday we had the invitation and we had the rejoicing, the future blessedness of actually standing within the gates of that city. Today we're going to look at, well, we actually begin today to look at the three beauties of Jerusalem. First one is in verse 3, the second in verse 4, and the third beauty in verse 5. So we'll save verse 5 for tomorrow. So the first beauty is right here in verse 3. Let me read verses 3 and 4, and then I'll go back and make my comment. So if you have your Bible open, uh, follow along with me, 122 verses 3 and 4. If you don't have your Bible, I'll be glad to read these for us. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together, whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord." The very first beauty of Jerusalem is its unity. The city is built compactly together. Notice that in verse 3. Jerusalem is like a city built, compactly built together. So Jerusalem is a city. It's not like a city. So what is it that the psalmist is talking about? Well, I think he's talking about the unity of the heavenly perfection, which means the house of the Lord that's in Jerusalem and the gates of Jerusalem, we're actually thinking about something that's heavenly, not earthly. So the city is built like, it's, the Jerusalem is like a city built compactly together. And we can't really say that we're talking about the city itself, the physical city, because in that city there's always been division, there's always been sin, There's always been unrighteousness. There's always been hypocrisy. So there's no unity there in the city, the physical city. And even today, the city of Jerusalem is greatly divided amongst uh, who knows how many sects and non-religious people and people who are contrary to the religion of of God altogether. So we're not talking about the physical city, but we're talking about something else, the heavenly city. And in that city, where the church resides, there is unity and perfection. So that's the first beauty of the city of Jerusalem. The second is whether the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, under the testimony of Israel. Okay, so we're, we're reading this as a travelogue. What are we doing? Well, we're going up, aren't we? Yeah, we're experiencing the going up as we sing and read this psalm. So here we have the destination of the gospel message. The tribes of the Lord are going up. And who are the tribes of the Lord? All of his elect, of Israel and of the church. All of us are going up into that heavenly Jerusalem. It's the place of testimony, a testimony for Israel to give thanks because the word of the Lord is true and he has promised this inheritance for his saints. And so we're making our way up to the city. This is the destination of the gospel message. We had the invitation of the gospel to come and see, come and let's go to the house of the Lord. Here we have the destination. It's not really a city. It's more of a heavenly destination where the the church abides triumphant forever. 
All right, well, join me again tomorrow. We're going to look at verse 5 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out The Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.